In this session of the PowerPoint tutorial, I'll go over some of the best practices for uh, designing and presenting using PowerPoint. So here I have a quick set of slides. There are four steps for presenting a great presentation. First, you need to plan your presentation and design it well, then uh, prepare the content for it, and then practice it, and then present it to your audience. Now, part of the best practices for design would be that it's best to always fill out the outline first. You begin with the outline. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look fancy to start with. You want to make sure that the idea, the key points flow throughout your presentation. You don't want to spend hours on your presentation and still stuck on slide number one because you are very particular about the, your layout of the slides. And then the next one is to keep in mind that the words on the slides need to be size 24 font or larger. Some of the projectors may have issues, they may not display the content correctly, and so. but uh, you want to make sure that the font is uh, readable when presenting. The third component here is to limit the number of words that you put on a page. You don't want your slides to be your presentation. You don't want to read everything that you have in your slides. The point of the slides is actually to reinforce the idea, the point that you're trying to make to your audience. So some of the best practices are to avoid paragraphs, so whole paragraphs. You just want specific keywords to use synced phrases instead of sentences. And then use also the designer feature. That's a new feature in PowerPoint 2021 as part of Microsoft 365 that gives you some great ideas on designing the presentation to look professional. The other thing is, if you're going to use bulleted lists, remember the seven by seven rules. You want to keep seven words along for each phrase and about no more than seven bulleted lists per page. More than that, it's going to be too much for your audience and it's best then to start a new slide. Also, fancy is not always best. Just like here, the font that you see there in the top it's not always the best uh, and easy to read, particularly if you are using a projector or you have a large audience or the projector quality is poor. You also want to use color combination that makes the text easy to read. A lot of individuals, they use dark backgrounds or colorful backgrounds and it makes the text hard to read. You also want to limit the graphics per page, one to three per page, not too many unless there is a reason for it to have more. And special effects also must have a purpose, otherwise you're just distracting the audience's attention. The idea of a presentation is to get your audience to buy whatever you're trying to sell. And when you have too many things flying from every which direction with too much animation and special effects, Yes, you might be great at it, but it may not be the most effective use of them for that particular audience. Also, like I mentioned earlier, slides are designed to supplement your presentation and not be your presentation. So you want to reference content on the slides to make your point. In a nutshell, these are some of the best practices that I would suggest. If you like this video, please press like subscribe and then click on the bell icon.